Is the hip-hop industry influenced by drugs? It seems like that because some rappers lose their lives or their careers because of drug addiction. But rapper Kodak Black was able to escape that. Kodak Black. His real name is Bill Kahan. Capri, born in Deuce in Octave, June 11, 1997. He is an American rapper, singer and songwriter. He gained initial recognition following the release of his 2014 songs, No Flockin' and Scart, both of which led him to sign a recording contract with Atlantic Records. The former received double platinum certification by the Recording Industry of America, RIAA. No Flockin' marked his first entry on the Billboard, Hot 100 two years later, as a sleeper hit. His 2017 single, Tunnel Vision, was met with further success at number six on the chart and preceded the release of his debut studio album Painting Pictures, 2017, which peaked at number three on Billboard 200. His first commercial mixtape project, Baby 2 was released that some year and peaked at number 2 on the chart, also spawning the triple platinum certified single Roll in Peace, featuring Triple X Tataki on. His second studio album, Dying to Live 2018, yielded his furthest commercial success and peaked atop at the Billboard 200. It spawned the single Z's, featuring Travis Scott and Offset, which peaked at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100 received sextuple platinum certification by the RIAA and remains his highest charting song. Kodak's Black's career has been marked by periods of mainstream success as well as public controversies and legal issues. On the other hand has seemingly to be heavy on drug abuse, Xanax, Molly's and marijuana just to name a few. He even proved that he is a drug abuser when he was on the Drink Champs podcast. He was extremely high of drugs. And he was losing it. The whole interview. Here are some clips of that. Playing with my face, my, like, turn in my off. hand or some shit. Hell yeah, man, because like, what the fuck, man? All right, motherfucker who love me, I am, man. They ain't no fucking creepy shit, real shit. Man, I stand on my shit, oh, man. If that was me, I'd have been on some shit. Like, hell yeah, man, I fuck shit out a lot of them. Fuck, you know what I mean? But then, like, right way after that shit, man, when that shit, like, 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 like died off and shit, but everybody, I really had ran off with they, with they, with they stories and the little assumptions and shit. And then, uh, like, when the people on her team, her own girl, some shit like went out there and say like who was really on the shit, like I'm saying, but like, that she like who like who it actually was and shit, vibe like that. I was some shit like now, nah, like what, what, what the fuck, when y'all could did that from the jump. Mm -hmm. I could have did that from the jump, clear nigga name, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. the only back and forth that 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 that, that went on about that about that fucking song, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like and I fuck with Derek, cause Derek keep receipts to all type of shit. You remember? Like Derek my nigga. Derek Derek my nigga, I mean he can't like he can't take nobody like like talking shit about a nigga or none of that shit. I'm not fucked up by that way. Right, it was just never producing shit. So I'm clear you pick Ice Spice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with Ice Spice. Off the rip. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with Ice Spice on me. Like, yeah, that, that shit was just so like little, little weird shit going on. I'm like, okay. Buddy Lane vibe, That supposed to be a little cheap or some, some shit. What? After fuck? this interview, the whole world was corn scened about his actions especially his fans on top of that. There were some rumors people suggesting that he have maybe lost his mind, especially after this clip of this video was trending on the internet. I 
call that shit call it, man. Y'all know how to bring out all y'all speakers. This ain't gonna be corrosive, but then like, just stay off my trail, man. Like, that God gave me, bro. How he gave me, fam. I don't know fuck if I go away to Tokyo. Yo, I don't know how you move that. If you a fucked up individual, well, you go to him now, cause you taking you with you. After this video circulated on the internet, Kodak Black's fans were questioning a lot of questions about his weight. Lost some were saying it is because of drug addiction. After the drug addiction rumors speculated on the internet, Kodak Black went live on Instagram to clear things up to his fans, testifying that he had beat the perk addiction. I remember a point in my life when I was chewing a lot of Damn, I'm proud of myself. I've never been as happy in my life, bro. I don't know what it's up came from, what going on, what going on, bro. I wouldn't even, y'all know, bro, I would save my breath, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, because I know people would be quick to hate me anyway. It's to the point, like, a lot of people saying, oh, yeah, we with you, like, we liking that shit, come out with our looking straight. But a lot of people still, too, like, oh, shit, like, oh, he a clown, like, that ain't, da, 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 da. I ain't even gonna say I'm anti perk Like, I never took a perk since I've been home. But, bro, my dose is so low that I can't believe it myself. Man, I'm telling y'all, bro. Before I just went to jail, bro, bro, I was taking, bro. I can talk about this because this is my testimony, bro. Now, I'm hollering at y'all. Ain't no shame in my shit. Man, bro, I was taking, bro. Bro, at least I'm hundred perks. But my average was 40 perks sales, bro. I'm telling y'all this, bro. Bro, I ain't no, to the point I look at this shit and I be like, bro, what the wrong with me, bro? I listen to my music and be like, bro, what the hell? Him saying all of these things on the Instagram live, it was a confirmation of that the rumors of drug addiction were actually the truth. After a couple weeks of him going live on Instagram, clearing things up, he was invited on the No Jumper podcast, and Adam asked him this. How did it feel after Drink Champs to have so many people basically like debating and arguing if you were f***ed up during that interview? I was lit, but I wasn't lit like, bitch, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm always doing what I'm doing. I remember every f thing, ain't shit a bitch could do, ain't nothing, like, ain't no nothing get past me. Honey. That's when if you think you're crazy, when you make all the sense, uh, where you can't, where a bitch can't run it on you. I never had a man for 10 years and shit. Still work, work. Okay, I, I gotta say what I've said on other podcasts to you, which is basically from my mind as a person who's taken a lot of over the years, when I saw you like standing up suddenly in the middle of the interview and just kind of swam back and forth, my brain, like the part of my brain that knows what it feels like to get up was like, oh yeah, he's on a good one right there. Mm. And then I got somebody like Whack 100 screaming in my face telling me that I'm trying to stereotype you. So can we settle this once and for all? That shit was so long ago, I ain't even that. They don't even remember that. Step by step, I can't even walk you back to that shit. So you had to ask me something about that shit or something. So that doesn't even like exist in your memory? You just kind of move past it as soon as you that do dude, it? But I can't walk you to that shit. Be like, oh, this is what happened and this is what I don't even really too much know what you're talking about. You say detail what? Just where you were at during that interview, since so many people seem to have strong feelings like about it. I was long, honey, so it, you gotta be more specific. Well, yeah, I mean, usually if you get loaded, it'll last a good two hours, right? I ain't came up here for you to like, <laughs> be playing detective. I'm not His response to was indirect, and he was low key, threatening to leave the interview. To be honest, nobody knows what's going on with the most of these rappers. Or are they trying to portray a certain influence to the younger generation? But tell me what do you think on the comment section? Well, if you made it to the end, please like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you will get notified whenever a video drops. See you on the next video.